Now, we need to count on in tens from a four-digit number. So here, we start with 5,476. So that's five thousands, four hundreds, seven tens, and six ones. If we're counting in tens, we're adding one ten each time. So adding another ten gives us 5,486, then 5,496. But if we add another ten, now we've got ten tens, and when we have ten tens, we can exchange those for one extra hundred. So that means we get 5,506, because now we've still got 5,000, but we've got five hundreds, no tens, and we still, of course, have six ones. Then we can keep on adding tens until we get to 5,566. So that's five thousands, five hundreds, six tens, and six ones. Notice because we're counting in tens, the number of ones that we have will always stay the same, but the number of hundreds, like we saw here, might change. We can also show counting in tens using place value counters. So again, we're starting with 5,476. If we count in tens, once we've got 10 tens, we can exchange those for one extra hundred. So that's why we go from 5,496 to 5,506. So adding 10 means we go from nine tens to zero tens, but that's because our hundreds digit has increased by one. And again, we can keep on counting in tens until we get to 5,566. So now here, we start with 6,964. So there's six thousands, nine hundreds, six tens, and four ones. If we're counting in tens, we can add one ten each time. So doing that gives us 6,974, 6,984. Another ten means we get 6,994. But adding one more 10 takes us to 7,004. That's because we now have 10 tens. And if we have 10 tens, we can exchange those for one extra hundred. But doing that means that we now have 10 hundreds altogether. And if we have 10 hundreds, we can exchange those for one extra thousand. So because we've added 10, we now have no tens, no hundreds, but we've made one extra thousand because we've exchanged. And of course, the ones digit, as always when we're adding tens, stays the same. Then we can keep on counting in tens until we get to 7,054. So that's seven thousands, no hundreds, five tens, and four ones. We can show place value counters for this question as well. So we start with 6,964. We're counting in tens, but when we get 10 tens, we have 7,004. That's because we exchange 10 tens for 100, and then because that gives us 10 hundreds, we can exchange those for one extra thousand. So because we exchanged twice, Adding 10 means that we now don't have any tens or hundreds, but we do have one extra thousand. Now, if you know that one more than 699 is 700, then you know that 10 more than 6,994 is 7,004. You can see if you ignored the ones digit, you would have 696, 697, 698, 699, 700, 701, and so on. So counting in tens with four digit numbers is just like counting in ones with three digit numbers because our ones digit stays the same. So here we can keep on adding tens until we get to 7054.